Support supervisor uh, here with Blake Kirschbaum with his badass Proline 40 and 1X powered, what is it, 98s? 98. 98 millimeter turbos. Big power on the dyno today. Uh, and this one actually has the uh, Turbo Smart E gates on it. One of the cool things that we can control with our ECUs. Uh, came in, put it on the dyno to dial that stuff in so that way when he goes to the track, he can uh, know how all that kind of stuff works. So uh, why don't you just give us kind of a rundown of, you know, how you uh, came into this combination and then what made you decide to go with the E-Gates and end up here? So this combination, I had a big block in it and I went with Proline because, you know, you, you can't get be better, uh, you know, better customer service from them. And you know, I've got Fuel Tech on board. I got some good tuners in my in my corner. And um, the type of racing I do, I do a lot of no prep. So I felt like the E-Gates would probably benefit me a little bit more than the CO2. Mm -hmm. So I made a few phone calls, contact Cameron. He uh, said, come on down and uh, I'll give him the work for you. And that's exactly what he did. The car is running great, um, made great power. And uh, we don't know much more to say other than uh, the customer service here is great. I mean, the tech support's always been good. I have fuel tech on multiple of my cars. And, um, it, was, it was a great day. Yeah, I mean, like even you even had Danny over here from Proline looking at stuff, and yes. you know it was uh, that that's one of the things you know Proline as well as as, as us, um, they're really on top of everything. That they they, they do, take right? care so. of me. Anything I need, you know, anytime I call you guys, you guys help me out. I'm on the road. I need some help as we're traveling to a race. Everybody drops what they're doing. You know, you can't you can't get any better than that. It don't matter what it costs. You know, you may spend a couple more dollars on the better stuff, but at the end of the day, it's worth it. Right. Yeah. So. You've got the, the very well scienced out package from the guys over at Proline. I believe Jamie Miller helps you out. And you've yes. got a couple other uh, you know tuners and friends that yep. maybe help you from uh, New York, right? Yes. Or New York area. New York area. Um, and uh, you know the the E gates. The one thing that I think is going to benefit you the most is uh, they don't really change very much with the atmosphere, right? So 
Normally with CO2, you would ask for a specific number of CO2 pressure on the top of the wastegate. Yes. And then that makes X amount of boost. When the air changes and that and, the, and your environment changes, that can vary some, like a couple PSI here and there. And when you're running these things to, the, to their absolute limit, you know, two, three pounds of boost is a lot of power. So once you have something like an E-gate, which is actually a manifold pressure-based target, it already kind of compensates for that. So when you ask for 30 pounds, it's 30 pounds. When you ask for 40 pounds, it's 40 pounds. Um, that's going to completely change and evolve your whole entire program for, uh, especially the no prep stuff yes, where you're like yes. doing an insane amount of power management. That, that's um, where I think it's going to really help me. Help and then even when you do, uh, you said you have a setup for this to even try some radial stuff. Yeah, we, we, we tried Pro 275 once. We're going to go back out and try it again. Right. So so now you have that same kind of consistency and accuracy that the uh, E-Gates allow you to do for the no prep stuff. And you can transfer that right over yep, into over the, the uh, to the radial stuff, which is also kind of a different game when it comes to power management. You're very tire limited. Yes. Um, granted, there's a lot of glue on the track, but um, you know, it, it, it still changes a lot with the environment when it's hot outside, the track's not as good. When it's cold outside or nighttime, the track is really good and you have to make huge swings uh, either way to actually get the car to go down the track, whether you need to slow it down some or speed it up some. Um, so I think that's gonna be a huge benefit for you. Um, 481Xs are awesome. Yeah, so. it's a great motor. I mean, it's, it's so durable. You, if you stay on the maintenance with everything and you follow their program, and you're really having no problems at all. Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at this thing. It's it's one of the combinations where everybody's kind of switched over the Hemi now, right? Yes. But for for the, the racer who is not trying to absolutely max their stuff out all the time and be able to go and race with their buddies and have a good time and still have something that makes a ton of power, yep. I think that's probably like the perfect the, the thing perfect. for it. The maintenance is low. Um, Maintenance is slow, it runs great, and any race I go to on no prep, I never really have to worry about anybody outpowering me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, you know, and for what I'm doing, it works on, you know, a, my budget. And I don't have a big race team or anything like that, but for... Yeah, it's, it's an easy thing to take care of, yes. and I mean, look at this thing. I mean, we weren't even trying. We were only running, like, what, 40 pounds of boost? 40 pounds, because we have a, uh, like, a no prep converter in it, so it really wouldn't take any more. We could always change it to go a little bit faster, but this is exactly what uh, I came here to do, and... Oh, yeah. I mean, think about it. How, how many uh, combinations out there can run only 40 pounds of boost and make almost 3,300 to the tire? That's like yeah. flat out ridiculous. Flat out ridiculous. So uh, I really think you guys are going to have a good time with this. Hopefully uh, you and your buddies get to go out and have some fun. Uh, you said you're going to do some uh, back of the track stuff, some front of the track stuff, yep. and a little bit of radial. And uh, hopefully I'll see you around at the track. Yes. And then uh, we'll see you guys next time.